Hey race fan, Brian Davis races and you can too. Today's video is all about preparing a meal that's going to last you all week so that when you do get out on the bike, you're going to feel better, you're going to lose some weight, and you're going to save time to be able to get on the bike more. Let's just say it's Sunday morning, you're able to go to the store, pick up these super simple cheap ingredients, and then make this meal, come back, have it for lunch that day or dinner that day, and then you've got leftovers to eat at lunch for the rest of the week at your office job or whatever the case may be. This is a critical part of how I lost 10 pounds in the last week or last week in the last year is by really trying to control making the food ahead of time so that I don't get off the rails. Today's ingredients are really, really simple. Two big fat butternut squashes, one sweet potato, if you got one handy, a clove of garlic, really good flavor, and then a couple carrots if you got those handy. Now the last thing is a little controversial, but I'm gonna throw rice in with this process as well. I'm gonna cook all this at once. I'm gonna show you exactly how I do that. And then when I get home, I'm gonna throw it all in a big pot. I'm gonna use an immersion blender, mix it all up, and it's gonna turn out super, super good, and it is dead easy to make. If you guys like what I have to share with you today, please smash the thumb. If you wanna see more meal prep videos, anything in particular, or on the bike food, leave a comment down below. I'd really appreciate it. I all right, let's get this party started. All right, we're gonna fill those pans with just about a quarter inch, half inch of water. We're gonna grab all that stuff. I already uh, peeled it, so that saved me some time, and then I'm gonna chop the bejesus out of it. And the goal here is we're just getting big chunks of stuff. It doesn't have to be finely chopped because it's all going in one oven for a long time, and it's all gonna get mushed up anyway into like basically a sweet potato slash soup. So you don't have to worry about your knife skills. As you can tell, I am not. You just want everything cut to the size where an hour is about right for it to be roasted. And again, it's going to be in water, so that's going to prevent it from getting burned or dried out. And the uh, garlic. I tried this once with two heads of garlic. That was a little too much. So one seems to be just about right. So smash those guys up. Throw those in there. Garlic has a lot of good stuff. So then the rice goes in. And uh, I just want to make sure the rice is covered in the water. Again, the goal here, we're going to cook it for so long, it doesn't really matter. And then ultimately, I decided to blend the rice. I said earlier I was going to do that, but when I made the actual recipe, I toyed with not doing that and keeping it separate. In the end, I tried it both ways. I ended up putting the rice in and blending it because it was just uh, a more consistent texture. So big, fat, giant squash. Clean out the seeds. The reason squashes need this roasting process is they're so hard to work with. So putting the water in and roasting them upside down makes it so much easier to deal with because when it's done ro roasting, all you do is peel all that hard skin off with a fork. It comes off super simple. So all that stuff's going to go right on in to that big bad oven. You do not need to comment about how dirty my oven is, but you're welcome to. Maybe it'll inspire me to clean it. The set timer for one hour, but I doubt it. Let's go ride. I'm only gonna take one bottle so that way I know I'll come back in an hour to get all that stuff out of the oven. I'm not 100% sure it'll be done by then. Some some of the squashes have taken a little bit longer, some have not. Uh, and what you're after is like a little caramelization on top so you get kind of that flavor. And then generally everything's cooked in there, the rice included, and then, like I said, I'm just gonna smash it all in a um, immersion blender and be done with it. And it's gonna be good. And it's going to last, and it's going to be good for me. Do it. Mix it, eat it, and then go back out for another ride because I need a little more time today. And it's gorgeous. Gorgeous. A little chilly, but man, is it nice. Yeah, I make decisions to glow. Ridiculous flow, potential to glow. You know, I, I just do that. Consolidate my readers, line it up, put them together. Anyone that ever let me down, forget them forever. My memory's bad. Remember me, though? My memory's gone. My memory, it limits me home. Cow. Everything is in the oven. We are 20 minutes away from home. That stuff has another 40 minutes to cook, roughly. I'm going to pound off some intervals. I'm going to do five three-minute sessions above threshold. I'm estimating my threshold right now to be about 300, maybe 290. So I'm gonna try for 330s, 330 watts on these three minute intervals. And I'm waiting till I get the headwind headed home so I can go a little quicker and get back to my soup. Comment down below, let me know how your soup turned out. Feel free to put your own spin on it. 
It's soup. You can't screw it up, man. You can't screw it up. <laughs> I just did that. Trying to focus on my get back, my get up, my re up, my rematch. A patch of seeds and Apache debris passing through Indian Springs in Las Vegas, my G. Bumper Nirvana in Nevada. My favorite word is Medulla Oblongata. Just doing what I gotta. Is this the end or just the beginning? Am I losing or winning? Is this reality or am I pretending? That was poetry, huh? <laughs> Welcome home after an hour on the bike. Now, like I said before, I toyed with the idea of putting that rice all in or not. Ultimately, I did, so that's the right way to do it. Okay, we're going to take out the squashes. By the way, the reason I did two squashes is one, didn't seem to give me enough meals to make it worthwhile, and two, arguably, is maybe overkill. Now, all this stuff, once you put it all in this pan, is definitely going to need some water. Just tap water, throw it in there. I don't even bother with broth because it's got enough stuff going on in there, so don't worry about that. Um, so all this stuff's going to go in. Squashes go in after you scrape the skin off. Make sure you do, do, do a good job scraping. Uh, these two things are totally optional, maple syrup and milk. If you want to be vegan, don't put the milk in. I put some butter in there too, but not enough to matter. And then just immersion blender that bad boy on up. And again, keep adding water until it gets to the point of a consistency that you find enjoyable. And then when I find when you reheat it, you generally end have to add more water as well. So if you have some sour cream, you can top it with that. Otherwise, salt and uh, red pepper flakes are what I use every time. Ta-da! All right, we're all done. And I'm going for another hour. And uh, soup's done. And we're all set. Dinner's ready. I'm probably the only one that's going to eat it because my family's picky, but whatever. Um, yeah. Okay. It was a good day. Let's go do a little bit more bike ride and then we'll be done. Come home, eat, clean the house. Isabel's having a Halloween party tomorrow. Big doings. Big doings. for the soup. It's really good. It doesn't take long. The cleanup's easy. The prep's easy. You can even get a ride in while you're out. It's a pretty good mix. So, uh, happy Halloween, happy fall. And I know what you're thinking. It looks like baby food, but who cares? It tastes great and I'm getting skinny because I'm eating correctly. That's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe. I'll catch you next time. Bye.